Hello everyone, I'm Zhongwan Li, and today, though I'm majoring on Western medicine, I want to introduce a book of Eastern medicine that makes me proud every time I think about it. One of the, f one of the most famous medical books on history, Dong Yi Bogam. But still, my professors are in a competitive relationship with the Eastern medicine, so I'll quickly end this presentation before I become kicked out from the school. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, to start, Dong Bogam is a national treasure of Korea made by Hojun and many royal physicians for 14 years, from 1596 to 1610. We're having some technical problems. I'll do my presentation without my PPT. Dong Bogam is a collection of 25 books, and it gives a treatment of internal medicine, surgery, other diseases, acupuncture, and herbs. But it's a long story. Like we need to read like three times of Harry Potter series, the whole series, to read the whole Dong Bogam. So Dong Bogam prepared a single book that only summed up the contents. Moreover, the excellence of Dong Yi Bogam was not only acknowledged in Korea, but also by the world. Dong Yi Bogam was selected as the Memory of the World of UNESCO at 2009, 2009, which was six years earlier than being a national treasure. However, Oriental medicine was not a novel subject in Korea. It was also widespread in China and Japan too. Then what made Dong Yi Bogam to have its reputation? UNESCO says that this medical encyclopedia gave the basic ideas of preventive medicine and the health cares, public health cares. Dong Bogam says that training and nutrition should be the first to maintain health. Then comes the remedy and medicine. This is an important point that is emphasized throughout the whole book and gave the basic ideas of the preventive medicine, which was developed 350 years later on the Western medicine. Also, when Dong Bogam used other sources, it perfectly cited those sources to make it, uh, <laughs> to clarify the treatment was not a personal idea. Hachan already know that plagiarism was bad. By citing, this book became a major source for later physicians to study, and even now, to study about the Korean medicine. Lastly, Hachan used Hangul for the herb names and gave alternatives, alternative mixtures of herbs for the properties to use. As a result, a book made before a half millennium is still now using as a textbook in Korean medicine. <coughs> but most importantly, Dong Yi Bogam collected the essence of thousands of books and made a better clinical approach by amending many fatal fallacies. Before, the amount of medicine given to the patients were inappropriate. And Dong Yi Bogam, after analyzing many clinical cases, it has concluded on a better new standard. By Dong Yi Bogam, many people were able to, use, to have a better medical service, not only in Korea, but also in China and Japan. It cured the neighbor countries too. Still, there are some problems in the book. Basically, the treatment of heavy metals like mercury cannot be accepted by our medicine and science. Also, there are some false treatments like selecting the gender of the baby, preventing nightmares, making couples to fall in love, and even making a monkey to sleep. <coughs> it's interesting. However, these points are amended by the current Korean medicine. It's an old book, right? It's a, half, it's a book which is before half a millennium. So, these could be natural. But let's rather focus on the cultural value that Dong Yi Bogam has. Dong Yi Bogam, this single masterpiece, was made by the best physicians at that time for 14 years. And they cited everything to give proper information to the future generation and corrected every error from the previous book. Also, 
it gave alternatives and it gave hangul for the Koreans and the poverty to use. There is consideration for every social stratum to use it and become emancipated from pain by using hangul and alternative herbs. If there is Hippocrates' oath in the Western to weak to strengthen the doctor's ethics, there is Tongyubohan in Korea for strengthening to weakening the doctor's authority in making medicine accessible. And I believe it is now our turn to make the value to be spread globally. Please give a round of applause to our national treasure, Tongyubohan.